I'm about to show you four powerhouse skills that'll turn you into an absolute rock star in DaVinci Resolve. These are the kind of next level tools that'll make you a force to be reckoned with in the editing world, ready to level up and become a dangerous creator. Let's dive in. Starting off incredibly simple. This is how to create animated text along any custom path. Now, obviously start by creating a new fusion composition and placing it right into your timeline. And inside of the fusion window, we can add a text node and then connect it to media out. And from here, you can type out your text and style it as needed under the inspector. Now to make this follow a custom path, go to layout and select path. You know, you have to make your own path in life, sometimes by using the pen tool right here, and then you can hold shift on your keyboard to draw a straight line. And when you're done, you can animate the position on path. Or if you don't like keyframes, you can just type an equal sign inside of the box. And then you're gonna go ahead and type time slash 500. And this will animate your title along the path. And if you like, you can go ahead and add some spaces and copy and paste your title several times to create some really cool designs. Is how to create 3D text that will impress. That didn't rhyme, but add a 3D text node and when you type out your title, nothing will happen. Not very impressive, but we need to add a render 3D node to the tree. So Resolve knows to render our title. Now we can go to the extrusion options here, increase the depth and even the bevel as needed. And to stylize the text, you can go to shading, uncheck use one material, and then change the bevel material as you wish. Additionally, if you want light and shadow, we're going to want to add a merge 3D node in the middle of the tree like this and connect, and then search and connect for a directional light to the merge. And when you're ready to fulfill your purpose, check enable lighting and shadows inside of the renderer. And you know, I don't feel so good. So back under shading for the 3D text, we can adjust the specular options to use this light the best. And that looks good, but this is just a title. There's no animation. So to animate your text, right click inside the character panel and select follower. Then go to the modifiers and you feel free to animate any of the properties that you want. You can have the title rotate or even, you know, fly onto the screen. Your go-to spot for quick and powerful editing tricks. We're diving into the rapid motion effect in DaVinci Resolve. So first make Sure, all your clips are around 24 frames long. Now create an adjustment. Clip above your first clip and extend the adjustment clip by one frame like this in effect search for transform and apply it to the adjustment clip you're going to select it. Go up to the inspector and you're going to create a keyframe for the zoom. Now move your playhead to the cut point and increase. The zoom to 1.5 under animation increase. The motion blur all the way now you're going to remove that extra frame on the adjustment clip and then just select. Option click on the adjust adjustment clip and duplicate it above all your other clips. I put my clothes on in still. More We've made it to the last skill, which is probably the most important, which is camera tracking your footage so you can insert images or graphics onto your clips. So make your video clip a fusion composition and then you can plop in a camera tracker and then check bi-directional tracking. And when you're ready, click auto track. And when that's all said and done, go to solve and click solve. Then you can go to export, drop down the 3D scene, transform and set this to unaligned. Then go to the area that you want to. Insert your text or graphic and then drag select some points. From here, you'll need to click set from selection and click aligned. Now you can export. Then you get this updated node tree, which you'll need to disconnect that original camera tracker and then reattach the media out to the final node. With the setup out of the way, you can finally say add a 3D text node to the merger. Or if you have an image or another type of graphic, you can add in image plane, a merge, and then finally, your graphic like so. And that's how to camera track your footage right here in Resolve. Subscribe to be the best and always be creating.